The argument that I hear about that is that, yes, violent crime is a terrible thing. Shootings and, and everything you're describing and, and what's been in the news from All-Star Weekend, absolutely. But the people who are in the detention center, they haven't committed those crimes. They have committed traffic violations, minor offenses that don't, you know, that don't put people's lives in danger, that don't, you know, that, that aren't intending to do harm to others. And, and but again, perception is reality, right? If I know that it's okay for me to ride around with weed in my car, see, you couldn't do that when I was young, right? You going to jail, and there were consequences for that. If it was okay for me to, to you know, burn up three or four hundred dollars worth of tires every night, street racing, and causing dangerous situations, I mean, look at it. So you can go out and go street racing, with the exception of losing control of your vehicle and killing somebody, right? Which is bound to happen. Injuries have already happened. Uh, let's go ride them down Peachtree Street. They can't do anything to us except put us in jail, we'll sign our own bond and we'll leave. The perception is reality. So these crimes have far reaching impacts that, that some of our young people don't even think about. Do you think the young people who are doing the things you're talking about, do you think they understand that if they go to jail, if they have an arrest record, the kinds of ways that affects their ability to get jobs down the road and, and those sorts of things. So there are two, two sides to that answer. The first is probably don't think about it because they're young and 10 feet tall and bulletproof, right? I used to be the same way. And, and except for having good mentors, except for uh, you know turning right when I should have turned left, this too could have been me, right? I, I make no bones about that piece. But the other component is because jail has been so glorified, be it rap videos, be it uh, social media, whatever that looks like, the consequences until you're in here, until you're locked up at 901 Rice Street, are uh, all, in, in more, more or less terms, they are, they're glorified and supposedly will give you some street cred, right? And this is what I tell young, young members of our, our community. 901 Rice Street is not where you want to uh, teach somebody a lesson, right? You don't want to get your lesson inside the county jail. And so what our job too, twofold becomes, how do we keep people from making the, the wrong decisions? The larger question and the larger picture that people lose sight of is when you lock somebody up, there should be consequences, right? If you're found guilty, there are consequences for breaking the law. But personally, I know a lot of the judges at the city level, because that's when people start complaining. And that, that piece that people need to understand is that judges in, in city court have equally as many programs and opportunities for a person to expunge their own record, right? Both after and before conviction. And so we have to really take a, a larger view, use a different lens and say, okay, are we gonna allow people to break the law? with no consequences? Or are we going to deal with the consequences and allow for programs to help, pe help give people a second chance or a third chance or a fourth chance, depending on what it is. But at some point, you learn the hard way. You gotta stop breaking the law.